Many of us may need a refresher course because several of these parking ordinances were suspended back in March, so it has been a while. So what does this all mean? Well, this includes limited parking on certain streets, not using streets for personal storage, and motorhomes, boats, trailers, and ATVs are once again prohibited from being stored on city streets. For the past few weeks, the Salt Lake City's Compliance Division gave out warning citations, but that's no longer the case. Starting yesterday, we, we uh, issued some citations, and it's important to know that parking um, ordinances are reinstated. Uh, vehicles that are uh, too large or, or they are too close to your driveway sometimes or an intersection that create a, a hazard for, for pedestrians that are about to cross the street. Uh, it is hard to see when, when you have a large vehicle um, parking too close to to. Um, to your driveway or, or to the intersection. Depending on the violation, fines can start as low as $28 and up. If you have any questions, you can get a rundown of all of the parking restrictions on the city's website. We'll go ahead and put a link up on fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Tamara Vaifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah.